Well, I should have put my stand. I should have made my stand before. Hi, Kason, the baby. Hi, but Dennis Way. How are you? Thank you guys for coming in. So I'm trying to go live. So it's working. I'm outside. I hope that you guys are really hearing me okay because it's very windy here in Florida today. And I'm going to harvest my sweet potatoes. So Thank you guys so much for coming in. I'm very good. How are you guys doing? How was your Saturday? I'm trying to get my stand up. Because my bed is right there. My sweet potato bed. Can you see it? Wait, it's a lot of bush. <laughs> oh, it's somewhere right there. But I'm going to be going over there shortly to um, see what I find because I'm getting ready to put my other stuff down. I have some cabbage and I have uh, collard green. Got some peppers. I'm just trying to get my phone situated, guys. Hey, the Stock Explorer, how are you? Thank you for coming in. So I'm gonna get it close to my potato bed. Let's see if I get a good angle. I elevate it a little bit. That's my sweet potato bed, guys. Okay. So I'm going to see what's in my bed today because I'm getting ready to plant my fall plants, which grows very well here in Florida, which are, you know, your, your uh, collard green, your spinach, um, your radishes, you know, all that stuff. Hi, in the lap of nature. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for coming in. Hi, Lathania. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. So guys, I'm going to, I wanna set this camera properly. One second. Okay. Okay, guys. So, starting in this side of my bed. Wow. Already, I saw one small potato. 
And last year when I harvest my potatoes, they were small like this, but they had so many holes in there. Oh my goodness, I already saw something. This potato, it's already gone, it's rot. No good. So I said I wanted to come out, get some, see whatever is inside my box, because you never know. You have some critters that live under the soil and they go into your bed and they just eat up your sweet potatoes. They are so small, so tiny. And the reason why I'm harvesting because the vines are dying down. So once you see that your vines are going away, they're dying, it means that your sweet potato is ready. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. I got a sweet potato. Look how big it is. I can't believe it is perfect. Let me show you. There's no hole on it. No holes. Perfect sweet potato. The different builder. Hi, thank you for coming in. Wow. Well, I have quite a few right here in this hole. See? Already something was chewing away at this one. When I wash it up, you'll see. But um, I'm digging. I'm using my hands to dig. Oh, they're so small, guys. Some of them are so small. So small. Hi, the Harbin girl. How are you? Hey. I'm trying to see what I get from my garden. Whoa. This one broke. Oh, wow. This one is deep. Oh. So far, I got quite a few. They're not big. They're very small. But I had one big one. So that's good. Let's see what else is going on. All these little baby ones. And I think I should have left them a little bit longer. But again, you don't want what you have in there to get stolen. Oh my goodness, this one is rocked. No way. And this would have been a good one. Something ate this one. Or maybe got too much water. I don't know. No good. I'm going. Those are the size I'm finding. I welcome each and every one of you guys that are in my chat. Thank you so much for coming in. Please leave your thumbs up, guys. Please leave your thumbs up. Hi, Chenny. Chenny, Vinny, thank you so much for coming in. It's nice size, beautiful. Leave a 
thumbs up, guys. Leave your thumbs up. Thank you so much for coming, y'all. Hi, Ricky. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. They are so small, guys. But if I leave them longer, forget it. Something is going to eat away at my sweet potatoes. Whoa, there's a spider right behind me. thank you so much for coming okay thank you so much i appreciate it leave your thumbs up let me see if i'm missing anyone i holistic with happy thank you for coming in sweets thank you oh it's hard work it's hard work to go through this bed. Oh my goodness. Whoa. I almost left this one. I'm seeing some size potatoes that were not yet ready to harvest, but I can't wait for them because I have to plant my other stuff in. And I'm getting some potatoes. It's not, it's not bad. I have a little bit of harvest going on. What is this right here? The harvest is not too bad. It's not as big as I want them to be, but it's something. I'm using my rake. I'm using the rake to go through and I was really curious about this bed because it 
it's more sand than anything. And I really wanted to see how well the potatoes would grow in this bed. Because it's my first time planting them in this bed. Normally I have it at the back where I use the store bought soil to plant them. And I believe I got a better harvest compared to the ones I had last year. These are a little bit bigger and not too much holes in them, not too much. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to show you guys what I have so far. Still have some more places to go, like roughly half size of the box. But I'm happy so far with what I got. They're not too big, but it's something. So here is my harvest so far. Oh. so tired.
Thank you all. <laughs> that is because, oh my goodness, I have to take a rest. Oh my gosh, it is hard work, definitely hard work to be going through and trying to get the vine out that wrapped around the papaya tree and also a mint plant I have in the bed. So, wow. And um, let me just grab these three small ones. So, so far, it's not bad. Let's see if I can get a better view. Oh, there it is. Not bad, right? Not bad. Hey, Unbroken Sylvia, blessings. Blessings to you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much, Lafania. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It's a lot of work, guys. Definitely a lot, lots of work to plant these things, water them. Then you got to come back, you got to check on them. And the thing I find with my sweet potatoes this year, well, last year they were as well, but not as bad, is that the white fly, they took over the leaves. And that's something that it's really hard to control, the white flies, because if there's so many, I'll show you. Look at this. This is the back of the sweet potato leaves and the white flies are all over them. So you find that after a while, your sweet potato is not so much, you know, doing well. And even if you spray it, like how often can you really come out and spray it, you know? So I just let it do whatever it's doing. And, um, you know, whatever I get, I get. But I'm thankful, honestly, I was thinking that I was not gonna get as many as I did, but I did. I got enough. Oh, the only thing is they're not as big and that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm still grateful. So I'm gonna go and tackle the back of this bed, which is half, half the size of the bed and see what else I get. While I was pulling up the, the vines, I find that the vines that run alongside the box towards the end of it, they had like very tiny, you know, tubers on them. So I don't know if there's anything else over that side for me to, you know, harvest, but I'm gonna dig and see what's there. And um, the majority of the vines, what they did is that they hop over the board of my bed and they also, you know, hop into the yard and because the landscaper guys, they come very often and they, you know, I think every two weeks they come and they cut the yard. They pretty much cut up my vines that comes over into the garden. And I always tell these guys, don't touch my plants. Don't go near to my plants because we find that the landscapers, they normally just cut up everything when they're, you know, lawn in your the yard. They don't even check to see what is a plant and what is weed, you know. Hey, KJ, babes, how are you? Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, yeah, it's Ricky, definitely, enough work, definitely. Yeah, so I told my guys, like, for example, look at my, um, my that's my sweet sap, my sweet sap plant. You can see it's very bushy at the very, at the base of it, the root of it, because I told them, don't touch my plants. So... So you see my sweet sop, I told him not to cut it. So my husband and I, we're gonna cut off these low limbs and then we're gonna put the mulch again because we already mulch it, but we're gonna put some more mulch around the base of the sweet sop. And the sweet sop is not doing too bad. It has um, it has a few sweet sop on there. So look at this low limb. It has a sweet sop. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a sweet sop right there at the very base. And that's one of the reasons why I told these guys not to touch my sweet sap plant. Here goes another one right here. 
here goes another sweet sup right here. And uh, there goes a bigger one right here. So I have quite a few sweet sups on this tree. So I told them not to, not to touch my stuff because they just come and they just cut. They don't even pay attention. Like even my blackberry I put down about a month or two ago, they come and they cut it up. They just cut off, see? They just cut off the head of my blackberry. They don't care. They just do stuff. But anyway, let me continue and see what I got from this bed. Let's see. Can I set this camera like this? Let's see if I can bend it. Let's see if there's anything on this side. Oh, small one. Oh, well. Got a nice size one in here. something oh well, yeah got another one I saw some baby ones and the thing is you can leave your sweet potato if they're too tiny you can just throw them back into the soil because what will happen they will start to send up you know new leaf and grow next year so whatever is too small i'm just going to leave them or throw them back into the bed
bits. I think that's it guys because whatever it's inside the bed whatever that's remaining they're gonna grow next year this one but it's a tiny one over there they are gonna grow they're gonna grow back I'm not worried about them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let's see. Ricky. <laughs> ah, okay, simple, baby. Yeah. It's very windy, Ricky. Very, very windy. See? I'm wiping, wiping off my sweat. Real farmer here, right? <laughs> but it's very windy today. It's very cool. So I took the chance to come outside. So that's great. It's very cool and nice. Not too hot and humid, you know? Oh my goodness. So let me wash these off and show you. Man, there's so much lizard running around out here. I mean, I can deal with them because they're small, but the big ones, or anything else that calls for that matter, I don't want to see them. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. Let me put them back in their container. Can you see, guys? Can you see? Okay. Let me try it again. I don't know if you've seen it. Okay or not. Hopefully you are. Guys, I'm playing with the water here. It's unbelievable. The hose is like falling all over the place and wetting me up. <laughs> okay, turn off. Jeez. That was crazy. I'm playing with the hose, guys. I thought I was a kid again. <laughs> playing with the water outside. Soon my mom is going to come get me, right? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh gee, these people with their music. All right, all right. Hope I don't get copyright for that. Hey, Jalisa, how you doing? <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you saw the harvest, right? It's not bad. Thank God it's not bad. Got a whole container of sweet potatoes. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I'm thankful. I'm trying to get the angle. Yeah, there it is right there. So, it's good. It's very good. Oh, <laughs> you think I have enough to make a pudding though? Yeah? I don't know. You know, honestly, I've never made a, a sweet potato pudding. Never did. I, I, I like baked products, but um, to be honest, I don't do a lot of baking. <laughs> I, I'll do the cooking, but not so much baking. But I'll try. I, I, I'll definitely look up a sweet potato recipe and try to do a sweet potato uh, pie. <laughs> oh, add some cornmeal flour or yam. Okay. Okay, definitely. Definitely. Oh, wow. But I'm happy because last year, I said earlier, my sweet potatoes, they were a bit smaller, believe it or not. And they had so many holes in them because whatever that was in my soil that was just like biting away at my sweet potatoes. So I, hey, Bingy Roy, how you doing? Thank you so much for coming in. So I did not have, or, or I did not get a lot from my sweet potatoes last year. And um, I don't know if I planted them too late or what, I don't know. But then I had this bigger box over this side and um, in the winter time, the sun does not hit this box too much. It does not get full sun. So I find that my green leafy veg were, were um, doing much better, like my kohlrabis and my kale, they did much better in this box because they were not getting the full sun, Florida sun, you know? So I said, you know what? I have all this space. Let's put the sweet potatoes in. I did it and I'm grateful. I'm very grateful that I did. Cooking with, <laughs> cooking with a bling is on our next Come Dine With Me and he has a nice recipe. Okay. All right. I'll definitely check him out. Definitely. Definitely check him out. Yeah. So guys, I appreciate you guys coming in. I, I need to build my WH and um, I always shy away from the camera, but I said, you know what? Today, I'm going to definitely harvest my sweet potatoes and bring you guys along with me. So at first I was gonna do, you know, did, did my full video and then premiere it. But then I said, you know what? Let me just go live to my sweet potato. And believe it or not, guys, I almost did not do it because I went on the road, my daughter and I, and coming back and this guy ran into the back of my vehicle, okay? He ran into the back of my vehicle. We all stopped and he just, boom, but I'm so grateful to God because my car did not get any damage. Just had just a little bit of scratches to the bumper. So it's not, it's nothing, you know, we can probably get something to wipe it off. But um, <laughs> what'd you say? Okay, that's a good idea. Then you don't have, oh, to edit. All right. I don't like editing. No, I don't like editing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the guy ran into the back of my vehicle on my way in off the road. And, you know, thank God, my car, just a little bit of scratch, nothing crazy for me to call the insurance company about. And for them to go after him, I might have a, you know, a sharp look at my vehicle just to make certain because I took his information. I did not call the cops on him or anything like that. So, um, and he was like, you know, I'm, I'm a dad, I'm a, I'm a husband. I'm like, well, I'm a mom and I'm a mother. <laughs> I'm, a, you know, I'm a wife, I'm a wife. That's what I meant to say, I'm a wife and I'm a mother. Like, what are you trying to say? So, um, I guess he did not want me to call the cops. So, I look at my car and honestly, there wasn't anything for me to call the cops about. And um, while I was driving my car, I didn't, um, I heard just a little bit of sound, but then I went back on the street to just to test it out again. I did not hear the sound. So I guess, okay, it's, 
it's nothing. It's not like they hit the front of my car. So, um, yeah, I took his license. I took a picture of his license. I took I took his picture of his license plate, just in case anything happens that I didn't see. You know, sometimes underneath the bumper, sometimes things can happen if you don't have a big dent or anything like that. Sometimes sometimes things can get shift. You know, and then you definitely would have to, um, you know take actions but for right now when my husband gets in from work he'll definitely take a look at it and see if we need to do anything further but I mean I have his license plate and his license ID to if anything I'll call up you know report it to my insurance company and then they can do whatever follow up with his insurance company so yeah but thank God I'm okay my daughter was in the back seat and she was okay no shaking up or nothing like that just a little bit nothing crazy I think what it is, he might have been on his phone and not paying attention, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, thank God it was not major, Jalusa. Thank God it was not major. So, um, I'm, I'm happy for that. So, yeah. It's just, to, it's just to show that when you go out on the road, it's, it's, it's really, you know, it's really God that really keep you out there and bring you back safely, you know? Because anything can happen in a split of a second. Anything can happen to you in a split of a second. So, yeah. But I'm thankful. Thank God. So, guys, I thank you guys so much for coming in. I appreciate you guys coming in. Keeping my company. Digging up my sweet potato. Yeah. Bingy. <laughs> he says, blessing, Jalisa. Guys, I'm so sorry I'm not even reading from the chat. I'm so sorry. I'm just rambling along. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to live. Sorry. <laughs> Let me see if I miss anything further down. Okay, no. Hope I didn't miss anyone. As I did say, thank you all for coming and thank you for being here, making it possible. Okay. So... I did say shout out to everyone, I hope. Kaysen, the Stock Explorer. Um, I did say, um, oh, so Latanya was saying hi. Yeah, I said hi to Chini Bini. In the lap of nature, I did say hi. Um, and Herb and Girl, I did say hi to her. Yes, and different builder. I did say hi. Oh, different builder. He guys, if you're not connected to him, connect to him. He has an awesome channel. He does construction stuff. Construct. He builds house, and he's doing a great job. I did say hi to Ricky. Holistic living with Abby, stalker mom, and broken Sylvia. I did say hi to her. Oh, eat with Gloria. Sorry, I didn't get to say hi to you. So sorry. Maybe I was digging away. Thank you so much, um, Eat with Gloria and um, KJ Babes. I did say hi and Jalisa and Bingy. Okay, perfect. I said hi to everyone. Awesome. All right. So, guys, I'm going to leave you all. I'm going to get inside now because I have other stuff to get done, um, ten, attend to. <laughs> For the rest of the day is gone so thank you guys so much for coming i appreciate each and every one of you god bless you i love you see y'all next time bye y'all